Hello, this is TikTok. In this video, I will teach you the basics of autopilot in the Boeing 787 Dreamliner in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So in this video, I will cover uh, how to uh, use the auto thrust, the heading and altitude selection, as well as the vertical speed, the flight path angle, and the flight level change option. So let's get started. So first what we need to do is, because we're flying manually at the moment, as you can see, we need to let go of our joystick, or if we're using the mouse yoke like I am, we need to set it to the release state. This is because if it's not, then it will interfere with the uh, controls of the autopilot and the planes will not do what you want it to do. So what we'll do first is, enable this flight director switch this will make some pink lines appear on our display over here and click the AP button to engage our autopilot so what we'll do now is press the hold button underneath the heading here and underneath the altitude as well so these hold buttons they keep our present heading and altitude so as you can see now, we are flying at a constant altitude and at a constant heading. And on this display, it says heading, hold and altitude. So what you need to remember while uh, using the autopilot is to always verify that what you've set is what the autopilot is doing. So always check on this display over here what it says. So what we'll do now is set the auto thrust. So to set the auto thrust, we need to arm the auto thrust. So press this button here and make sure the AT button is lit so it's on. Now we can change this knob here to set a uh, speed at which we want to fly. So I'll set uh, 270 knots. And as you can see, it says 270 on the display, it says speed, and we are going to reach the speed which is marked as the triangle, and it will, might take a few moments to stabilize that speed. And there's also this button above here, switch to uh, Mac unit, and if you press it, it says 0.48, and this is just uh, speed relative to the speed of sound so you can also change the speed so let's go 0.55 and as you can see we accelerate to the pink triangle and then when we reach it we will just stabilize it there so I'll return to uh, not so let's set it to 310 okay so that's the auto thrust complete now let's go on to the heading so with the heading, I have already told you about the holds, which just holds the current heading. So now there's this knob up here. If we turn the inside, the smaller inside knob, we can set the heading we want to fly to. So let's go to 020 and press this select button on top. And this will make the pink line move to uh, 0 to 0 on our uh, compass here and our plane will start turning as you can see we have heading select up here and our plane starts turning to that uh, heading and there's also the bigger outside knob and this is the max banking knob so we can set this to automatic or we can set it to uh, like 5, 10 or 15, 20 or 25 so this option is for um, how quickly you want to turn and how much do you want to bank if you want to bank a little or if you want to bank a lot so then as you can see now i made it more so it banks more so now we will learn how to use the altitude selection this video is sponsored by incredible maths incredible maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths it has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code 
More details down in the description. Now, let's get back to the video. So the altitude is right at the very end here. And we can turn this knob and choose the altitude. So let's climb to uh, 12,000 feet. And we can click the knob here to enable that. And now we need to choose a method for our plane to get to that 12,000 feet. So there's three different ways. We can use the vertical speed to control the climb. We can use the flight path angle and we can use the flight level change. So I'll show you all three of them. So let's start off with vertical speed. So we need to climb upwards. So we need a positive one vertical speed. So what we'll do is press the uh, VS button and increase our vertical speed. Uh, so let's go for 2000 feet per minute. And this will climb our plane up to 12,000 and then level up. As you can see, over here it says VS, which means vertical speed. If by any chance you want to level off any time, just press the hold button underneath the altitude and this will level off the plane. You can also do this for a descent, just set a negative vertical speed. Now there's flight path angle. What this is, is the angle you want the plane to climb or descent. So I'll show you a descent this time. So let's descend to 9,000. Set the flight path angle and just set it to a negative value. And this might fluctuate a bit. So just set it to what you want. As you can see over here on the display, it says FBA flight path angle. And we have a negative vertical speed. Um, so what you need to uh, remember with this is that the flight path angle isn't the angle that's shown on here. This shows the pitch of the plane, but the flight path angle is the angle at which the plane climbs or descends uh, through the air. So it's slightly different. Okay, so now we'll move on to our final method of changing altitudes which is the flight level change. So if I'll just level off here at 10,000 feet, just so we don't have to wait for our descent to go fully. So what this does is that it keeps a constant speed while uh, climbing or descending. So for this, I'll set us to climb to 12,000 feet and let's choose a speed, let's go for uh, 280 knots. So during the climb we want to maintain 280 knots. And then we can press this flight level change button and now we can see it says idle, heading select and flight level change speed. So we're changing flight levels and maintaining speed. So this will just maintain the constant speed of 280 knots uh, while climbing to 12,000 feet. So now it should start our climb soon. So we're slightly below that speed, so our engines are accelerating. And once we reach it, then our plane will start climbing up to 12,000 feet. So let's see. We have reached 280 knots and our plane has started climbing. So this will make the plane climb at the fastest rate you can while maintaining the speed you have set. And soon we will be leveling off. So now we're reaching 12,000 feet and we will level off. So now I will show you uh, how to do this, the same thing with the descent with this flight level change. This will make sure that you will keep the speed you have sent during the descent so uh, if we want to keep for example uh, 250 knots during the descent and we want to descend to 8,000 feet we can set 8,000 over here and 250 and as you can see we're, we're at out and uh, speed mode now our plane will slow down and when we press the flight level change button our plane will slow down 200 to 250 knots and when we will reach 250 knots then our plane will start 
descending as you can see is happening now and now the plane will just descend at the fastest speed it can keeping the uh, speed of 215 knots so we, we are now going at a speed of uh, 1480 feet per minute and that's the highest vertical speed we can descend while keeping this airspeed. This is it for this video and just a top tip in case anything is going wrong if you need to disengage the autopilot in an emergency the, the easiest way is to use this big button over here just click it and the autopilot disengages and you're back to flying manually so in case anything is happening wrong then that's your go-to button so I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful if you did please press the like button subscribe for more videos and if you have any ideas for what videos you would like me to make in the future then please put them down in the comments below thanks for watching and I'll see you next time